Okay, so in this tutorial, I will be showing how to crop an image using a program called Photoscape. So I'm going to load my program here, um, and there we go. The, um, the program I'm using is called the Photoscope version 3.7, and your version may be slightly different. Again, it shouldn't really matter too much, um, and they're all very similar. Um, Again, if your version differs, you might the steps might be a bit different. Um, just use a bit, apply a bit of common sense. Now, the first thing you need to do is click Editor, and then you should see this panel here. If you don't see this, it might be hidden like this. Again, you just click the button, and that's it. Uh, if this is too small, just drag this across, and that's it. You've um, so the first thing you need to do is uh, click the folder that you want. The folder I've, um, I want is already selected for me. So the, here we go, and your images should show up uh, below and then you just click the image that you want to use so if I just pick my image that I like um, I'll be okay with this okay brilliant so now I'm gonna hide this I don't need this anymore so the first thing you need to determine is what dimensions you actually want this image to be so at the moment this is 5.7 megabytes and it's 3680 pixels by 2456 pixels that's really really large now we don't want um, for this example, um, I want to try to compress my image down to 600 by 300. So that's 600 by 300. So that's that's the um, dimension I want to use. Now, again, your dimension will be slightly different, um, and, you, and and so just uh, use the dimensions that you want to use. So just um, so the first thing you need to do is click crop at the bottom. And then um, on this drop-down box where it says crop freely, click that and say assign ratio and size. Um, we will then click on ratio settings. You can actually do it on width and height if you really want to, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so on the width, we will write 600, and on the height, we will write 300. Again, this, um, your figures will be slightly different. Then you press OK, and now I'll just drag a little box across here. Do whatever I see fit. And again, you can resize it. You can move it around, across, or whatever. Now, please, please remember: do not uh, resize this box using the handles on the side. Okay? As you can see, it completely took out of aspect ratio. This is not the right side uh, shape that we wanted. Use the ones on the corners. Okay? I don't actually understand why there is even handles in the middle. Um, it it doesn't actually make any sense whatsoever. So use the ones here. Okay? So now once that's done. Um, you will um, just need to drag it to height where you like it, and that's done. And then once you're happy with it, okay, I'm happy with that. Um, now you click enter, and that's it. Uh, well, that's the first step. We put it to the uh, right shape. Now the second step is to size this image. Uh, as you can see, it's, this is still quite a large image. Um, we've only changed. All we've done is actually change the shape. So what we'll do is we're going to go on home, and then we're going to click size and then we're going to resize this um, to the dimension we want which is 600 and the height should be 300 and that should change automatically if this tick um, was this this uh, checkbox was ticked now if this is significantly different to what you've expected then you've done the last step um, incorrectly uh, if it's only one pixel off like if this was 299 you can um, change this by just unticking this and then just moving this across. Now, um, this is actually how I want it, so I'm, I'm completely fine with it. Now, if this bottom one was all completely off to what you expected, again, you've done the last step incorrectly, so um, be careful. So, okay, I'm gonna click OK, and that's brilliant, I'm done, yeah, okay? And, as you can see, the dimensions has changed, 600 by 300. The um, file size hasn't actually updated yet, that's because I haven't saved it, so if I click Save, and I'm gonna save as, and I'm going to save it on my pictures and as you can see the dimension the file size has um, reduced significantly it's now 77.3 KB not even, it's not even a megabyte yet so and that's it now this image is now suitable for the web and that's the end of my tutorial I hope you enjoyed